It's a Frankfurt staple with much more to it than the name suggests. At the Cabbage Shed, they are known for stellar food and drinks with a touch of history. Charlie Tinker is taking us inside the kitchen to see what they're all about. You know, with the sheer ambiance of the building and its history, uh, a lot of history, by the way, uh, and the view don't sell you, there are a lot of things here that will. For instance, the selection of Irish whiskeys in back that will have you raving to all of your friends about this. I'm Charlie Tinker at the Cabbage Shed in Alberta. We took you here a few years ago. There's been no shortage of improvements since then. We're going to take you inside the kitchen again to see exactly how they do it. We are all about scratch kitchen cooking, Irish whiskey, and having a lot of fun. It's what brought us back and what keeps the masses mowing down on what the Cabbage Shed has to offer. We not only offer just, you know, great food and, and libations, but also we have uh, just a very unique venue that, um, you know, we're, we're rustic, eclectic, and um, a lot of history. Hunker down in these retro Bayside digs for a sizzling assault on the senses. Something savory and sweet. Up the ante with the perfect pairing drawn from its capacious collection of Irish whiskeys. They finish it in virgin Irish oak casts that were made from this particular tree, tree number six. So, <laughs> and this is bottle number 61 out of the series. So. A love affair with craft spirits and character, Tony Rothler simply can't hide. This site was the original general store in 1867 in Alberta, and uh, what we're standing in now is the Glarum Warehouse, which was built in the early 20s. And it used to house uh, fruit and preserves for the railway system. Memories you'll find etched into every surface in ceramic signage suspended from the ceiling and countless other curiosities. Buttermilk chicken sandwich. It's got smoked gouda cheese on it. It's got a pepper jelly aioli and a local pretzel bun. We want you to have an experience, not just, hey, I came in here to, to have just the food, you're going to get the ambiance of uh, being right on the water. You're going to get uh, the beautiful bar right behind us. Newly extended and now holding more whiskey than ever before. Right here is another family one that's resurgent, small boutique distilleries. We have uh, one of the largest selections, I think, in the state in uh, northern Michigan. Um, over 71 Irish whiskeys. Uh, we also have a nice selection of bourbons, scotches, but um, Irish whiskey is our specialty. Family figures heavily into everything that goes on here. My father-in-law, DJ TJ, sets up uh, Vinyl Vens Day. In spite of the countless changes which have transformed this space over the eons, you'll find some things never change. Being the cabbage shed, we do need cabbage soup, so <laughs> but the number one, number one requested item still continues to be one of our top sellers. You can really taste the fact that you guys are doing all this from scratch. What did you say? It's like a six-hour process? Yeah, from start to finish, at the end of the day, it's about six hours after searing the meat, boiling down the cabbage, adding the beets, bringing those, it all back up to tent, and when we cook 60 quarts at a time, it's a very huge batch. Money back guarantee that if you don't like it, we'll absolutely get you something different, but I haven't had that happen yet, knock on wood. You're unlikely to find fault. A boundless four-season view, character to spare, and all the sweetest things in life. Inside the Kitchen, I'm Charlie Tinker.